Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Mm-hmm. Everything mm-hmm. scatter, scatter. Poor man, they suffer, suffer. Busha, mm-hmm. busha. Gunshot in the head, what you say? You know, every actor or actress have their right to deny any script. People that are older than him in the movie, they're still working with him, so you should know that the guy is doing something. Mm-hmm. It's just the hate. I, I love my town come out from far. Mm-hmm. So she cannot be wrong, even if she's wrong. Rich people, let me understand. What, what is the purpose of the lion? What is the purpose of the tiger? It's unfortunate that the one taking care rather died, and the one who bought it is alive. That's why we poor people, we go through all the time. I'm saying that Africa is not going to be a better country. Mm-hmm. If you have the chance to travel, travel. Hello everybody, this is the Deep Inside right here at the Big Six Barber Shop. Thank you very much for coming to watch this beautiful episode, you know. I mean, today we are going to talk about what is trending in the world, especially. There's a lot of things going on in Nigeria space. But first of all, shout out to Big Six Barber Shop. Big Six, thank you very much for hosting us from the one to this time. Tahiro, Charlie, you rock. Alongside, if you want to come to Big Six and do your barber, you know, want to come and shave your hair, that is the numbers below the screen. Call Big Six. Remember, call him before you come. Book an appointment is very, very necessary. And Big Six is also having, you know, a beautiful hall if you want a place to do all your conferences, dance class, birthday parties, name it, name it, anything that you want to use the hall. It's called Afro Beat Luxury Hall. That is the numbers below the screen. Call Beast Sex and he's going to give you a discount. Slay by Bina. Yes, contact Slay by Bina for your makeup and everything you want to do. If you are going to parties, if you are doing weddings, bride, groom, bridesmaid, just contact Slay by Bina. And remember to use the promo code The Deep Inside and you're going to get a discount. Yes. KK Ruby Cuisine, uh, contact KK Ruby Cuisine. I keep on telling you if you are doing weddings, parties, any occasions, contact KK Ruby Cuisine. And guess what? Coming Saturday is her birthday. Yeah! Happy, 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 happy birthday. I ah, ever. <laughs> I mean, we're going to celebrate her birthday on Saturday. We can't wait. We can't wait. The whole crew and everybody, you know, shout out to you, mommy. For hosting that from day one to the start, that is the numbers below the screen, please. And I keep on telling you, if you're so tired, sometimes you know, sometimes you don't feel like cooking. Remember to call her; she's going to help you cook all your food, any kind of food from local to continental. She's going to do it for you. You know, contact KK Ibukuzi. Remember to use their promo code the Deep Inside. A Boba Village and Apartments, right in Pokwasi Amamfo. If you go to Ghana, you want a place to stay. Contact my mom. Tell Boba that Boba Joe by your sons that I have to come and sleep over here. Trust me, going to sleep in two beautiful bedroom apartments. And guess what? And, and mommy's also having a restaurant in front of the guest house. You go to like just contact Boba and come and thank you later. Tax season is here. We are still filing tax in America. If you want someone to help you file your tax, contact on my tax and accounting. On my is going to help you do all your taxes and everything. On my is the best place to be. If you buy plane tickets, airline, anything, contact Coastland. Coastland is the place to be to get all your visas and everything. I mean, the deep inside the crew and everybody, we are going to take it. And I remember when I, I think it's even going on. <laughs> <laughs> contact Coastland. Coastland is going to help you book all your tickets and everything, you know. And remember, Alex is going to help you. If you want African prints, you know, some things that I've been wearing. Contact Cloth Hospital. Cloth Hospital. Cloth Hospital is going to help you, you know, so your African print and everything. That is the numbers below the screen. Contact all these people. These are our, our proud sponsors. And if you also want a decoder, a decoder, listen, you, want, you, you are not having Netflix, you are not having Hulu, it's not a problem. If you get it, 
this uh, decoder that is having 30,000, 30,000 channels on this decoder. I tell you, you're going to love it. Contact the numbers below the screen and come and thank the deep inside. Say thank you, guys. Let's go for a quick commercial break when we come back. Let me introduce you to my G's, my guys, my intelligent people in the studio. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please subscribe to the channel Joba Abba TV. Yes, this is the deep inside. Let me talk to my G. Chris, what's up? What are you going? Everything good. I like today. I like your swag. Your red. <laughs> things. What do that? Every things or what? Yeah, every things. That's it. Yeah. Charlie. And then you're kind of fashion no Nick. Fashion what? No Nick. We are different. Yeah. Any day it's in the fashion no Nick. Fashion no Nick. I see. Yeah. Well, what happened to your leg? You go oh. kiss somebody or oh, what? Right? Nah, 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 nah. Huh? If it be the weather where they catch me, Charlie, so. don't lie to the people. Oh, it be the weather. Be the weather. Be the weather. Ah. No, you see me at the work outside more, so if my lips they get dry now, nah, nah, okay. I don't get my akuba. That be true. That be true. That be lick my lips. So. That be true. How was your weekend? Your oh, week. Your week. My week. How was it? My week. My week been, you know, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not gonna lie. Any money, cash, deals? I'm still working on that. Shout. Yeah. Shout. 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 <laughs> Shout, 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 shout. Yes, that be Chris. Chris, DJ solo, if you want to know the solo. Mm -hmm. And he will explain a little down. Yes, I have my beautiful lady right in the studio. Let me talk to Bina. Slay by Bina, how you doing? I'm good. You good? And you? It's been yeah. a long time. Yes, it's been a very long time. Where have you been? <laughs> uh, I've been behind the scenes mm -hmm. for the most part, but today I'm back. Behind the scenes doing what? Do my job. Do your job. I see. If <laughs> you can see all the beautiful makers and everything, I mean, yeah, yeah. everything. I like the earrings. What's the name? I, think, uh, I don't know. Uh, a lump it of just, the it just put on. As, of your own. You, do you know the earrings there or what? You said what? A long of your own. business, contract, everything. I'm um, good. Last weekend, uh, it was last weekend. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. last when you guys went to Ohio. Um, I went uh, to do Juliet's makeup for her event. Oh. She had the relationship conference. So yeah, it was really yeah. great. How was it? It was good. It was really that nice. That was the one in the bronze by Mount Vernon, right? Yes, the one in Mount Vernon. Same place they did a uh, Fritz, Fritz uh, show. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Pa? Yeah, what's up, my brother? What are you going? Uh, as usual. Mm. Hassel and Basso. We came back from Ohio. Mm -hmm. How was that? Was Ohio? Ohio was fun. Shout. Ohio was fun. Shout. The event. Shout out to um, um Rock Vine. Uh, shout out to the lady and the husband, Mr. Fred. My name is Ike. They did a great job. Marvelous yeah. job. The people came out. Shout, shout out to everybody who passed through. Shout out to all the Ohio guys. Shout out to Revolt uh, Media. Shout out to Kumasi Nyame and all of that for hosting us here. It was cool. Mm. It was fun. Why it was fun? Why mm. it was really fun? Mm. And I can't wait to go back. You yeah. can't wait to go back. Yes, yes, we have to go back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, for you say. <laughs> yes. For you say you can't wait to go back. What happened in Ohio? Why is it? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yes, uh -huh. they say what happened. Uh -huh. uh, stays in uh, whatever's happened. Whatever happened in Vegas, Vegas. Stays in Vegas. No, that's, <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that's only for Vegas. <laughs> this is Ohio, yes, it's true. It's strictly for Ohio. Vegas. Not for Ohio. Whatever happens in Ohio, I don't worry about how old. I mean, I mean, we had we had a great show. I mean, yeah. come on, shout out to uh, Rock Vine, yes. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. I mean, Jennifer said hi to everybody. Say thank you guys for mm. doing that, that, that commercial, that ad for her. The program was so successful. We are so surprised. The place was packed. It was beautiful. The whole, I mean, when Parfait entered, said, oh, wow, this is beautiful. Everything was beautiful. And shout out to you to Kabra Kabra. I mean, Kevi Kevi, Charlie was so staged. You know what I mean? That's what we do. Bye. I don't know. Came as usual, I know when he came with his uh, his dressing. Now there, yeah, he's going real rock star. Mm. So you saw, I saw his dressing. The ladies were loving the music that he was giving. Mm. And, you know, Kamara Kamara is lady smart. He's smart. The ladies go, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> see, hey. and then I told them some of the guests, we are here with you people. Kamara will go. Kamara came and he tried to remove that shirt. They go, oh my god. 
that. Then I remember that I have only one pack. Oh, that's so you so. <laughs> Consider my one pack like that. I know. But it was fun. Shout out to Cobra Cobra yeah. and team. They gave us correct live band. Mm. Shout out to a live band. The live band guys, mm-hmm. they did great. Great job. You know, because they they they, they had quite a short time to um, uh, rehearse with Kwabla Kwabla. Mm-hmm. But I think they did marvelous, marvelous. Right. So, yeah, everything went well. Everything went well. All right. Shout out to Revolt. You know, Revolt uh, FM Radio. Shout out to you guys for also helping Jennifer Rockvine, you know, promoting the event, you know, doing organization and everything. Charlie, you guys you rock, especially Kumasi Yame. Yes, the man, the goddess, the Real man brother. who the whole hour, the shit on maker, Kumasi Yame. Kumasi Yame. Shout out to you. Yes, let's go to trending issues. What what is happening in the in the in the social media trend? Our brother Lowen. Charlie, guys, let's give it up to Lowen. Let's give it up to Lowen. No be easy. You know, you know, be easy. Mm-hmm. Kodion cancer. Why, why are we clapping for Kodion mm-hmm. cancer? You saw, I mean, you guys have seen this, uh, you know, videos upon videos bringing all this Nigerian actors around. You know why? I name it. All this. You saw all these people. You know, I think it's going to be what a collaboration about it. But why? Why are you going to talk about this one? People are talking. People are talking. They are making some noise. This Rams know what issue. I think it mingled to. Is it Matankoma, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So basically, Martha had a script that she needed to also uh, uh, be you know, an actress or come and act in this movie. And she turned the script down per what she said that that, that script doesn't qualify as standard. It's not something that she wants to be part. She has her own reason. She came out to say that. You know, the storyline is not something people are going to understand, so she doesn't want to be part of it. That is her opinion, that is her stand because I mean, nobody can force any actor or actress to do any project. But it, it this thing escalated to a different level. Lowen also came out saying a whole stuff about Matankoma, you know, a whole, a whole stuff that one I'll, I'll do it to my studio people to talk about it. And 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 Mata is also saying that. She is going to take with you in cancer and going to court for this. Yes. These are two stories. Let's go back to that. There's a lady called Mimi. Mimi is also part of Koyon Kansan. No, Mimi is part of uh Akabeneza. Uh uh Chin Chin Chan. shout out to you, my guy, you know, from uh Bremai and know my G. Bema Tin Tin, yes. Uh-huh. Bema Hope. Bema Nisimuda J. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, Chin Chin Chan. So Mimi was part of Chin Chin Chan group, uh, all this uh, Bremai squad, let me put it that way, Tafo Bremai people. And Mimi had a contract to also go, you know, shoot in the Wayne's movie. So after Mimi finished her contract from the Wayne, came back to the camp of uh, Chin Chin Chan, also Ake, Ake Beneza, and they are saying that if she want to be part of the group, she needs to sign a contract for five years. I'm asking, is it right for production to do that? Was she needed to sign the contract before jumping into a different, you know, uh, production house? So these are the things that we want to talk to. You know, I want to speak to my intelligent people in the studio. Let me come to ladies first. Yes, let me talk to Bina first because this is, we're talking about two ladies. We're talking about two ladies. So, Bina. Yes. What do you think about this? Okay, so I'll start off with the second lady um, mm-hmm. with the contract thing. Um, personally, when it comes to contracts, you know, we, we all deal in contracts, all of us respectively in our businesses, yeah. we deal with contracts. When it comes to, like, contracts, there's, like, certain events, you sign a contract, you know, prior, if, you, before, like, with, within the negotiation period, mm-hmm. that's when you discuss what are the terms in the contract. Sometimes you can have a pre-contract that's already set, and you switch it up according to what you guys discuss. So that should have been discussed prior. Mm-hmm. Not that now that she's went to another opportunity you guys are gonna try to trap her for five years that's black to me that's that seems like blackmail because mm. you're probably they're probably worried about the success of what she went to go and do that will grant her new opportunities so they're trying to trap her so you mean that she needed to sign that contract before if, if can- anything she should have signed it before if they knew that they didn't want her working with anyone you sign it before because like when it comes to like being a makeup artist or something like if you're going to be working with like someone, mm-hmm. you sign a contract with them for that time period you're working. 
So you already know, okay, I'm working for this person. I'm not going to take any other jobs Mm -hmm. during this time. And you set your rate according to that time that you're working for them. Mm -hmm. But you cannot come and just say, oh, now you never had a contract in place. And then now after you've already started doing whatever you're doing and the person has left to work another job, Mm -hmm. you're now she wasn't obligated under any contract. So them trying to do a contract, I personally feel like she should probably sue them because it seems like blackmail or like. Like well counter like just counter it because it doesn't seem right, and um with Martha her saying that um what do you call it like it's not up to a standard I feel like you could say okay it's not up to my standard but going back and forth all of y'all going back and forth on social media you guys are grown and people look up to you in the industry like you're making yourself look little if you don't want to be a part of a thing okay say you don't want to be a part of it but you don't have to shame nobody or say anything and then now you want to take it to court to make it a bigger issue for what this mm. it makes no sense just like if you're if you're if someone tells you oh like let's be a part of something like for instance i've there's been like weddings that like a, a bride will like inquire we'll talk about it they'll be like oh no i'm going for someone else they I might, they'll ask for a discount, give them a discount, right? But then they'll go to someone who charges a higher rate. Mm. I'm not going to go sit on social media and bash them or go commenting under the other makeup artists. Right. Oh, this bride, she did this. Da, mm-hmm, da, da. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that because it's going to make me look bad for my mm-hmm. business. At the end of the day, I'm a brand. Right. So I'm. I, you have to think about your brand. Mm-hmm. Even though your brand can be your name, you still have to think about your, right. like, overall like you're yourself Mm -hmm. but you're also a brand and sometimes i feel like they get on social media and they let their personal feelings they don't see the media perspective and the business perspective of it and they just let feelings and emotions take over Mm -hmm. which is really bad because at the end of the day it's stuck on the internet forever you can't take it back Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. you can't take it back all right chris what do you think about all this Um, for me with um with martha Mm -hmm. um Nah, she. I feel like she she did too much. She went too far, cause she has been low. She has been low before. Mm-hmm. She has been underneath um, top artists. You no, know? a lot of these artists that are working with Galloway right now started from. I, I could say some of them started from Kumau, mm-hmm. and then they came to the city, and then you know get because of their hard working and what they right. have. So you can't just like it's it's a it's a contract it's a work mm-hmm. right oh you get your script you look at it oh I don't feel like I want to do this I can't do this simple just you go make away it cool. yeah just make it simple and then but for you to go for an interview and then you know trying to put this down and be like oh the script they gave me doesn't make sense and mm-hmm. all that no probably someone so if if I was the guy if I was a person that you know gave you the call I would be I would think that oh maybe. You, you hating what I'm doing. Because mm-hmm. me, to me, the way I, the way she was talking and everything I had, like, it's, um, has sound like pure hate because <laughs> it's, it's a work. Right. You know, someone gave you a contract, you read a contract. If the contract doesn't suit you, right, you tell the person right there, oh, I don't feel like this contract mm-hmm. suits me, so I'm not going to do mm-hmm. it. You walk away and that's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So dragging this, making it, um, all this and taking it to court doesn't make no sense. Mm. No, they both grown. Mm-hmm. No, Lewin have been in the movie industry. Even though Marta, Marta was there, they were doing their, their thing. Lewin was doing his thing too. But are you saying that Marta wasn't right for you know? No, for real, he was about, like she, she, talking about this script. You know, every actor or actress have their right to deny any script. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But do it right there when the person gave you. It's between you and the person. Maybe she couldn't have the time to read it right there. But we haven't heard this from. Other top um, um, brands though, because mm-hmm. she she she's been working in this. Mo- this is the first time I ever had this from her, you know, making this public about someone's script that they gave right. her. I see her. I see her acting movie. There's a lot of movie that we have watched that is that doesn't make no sense, and she's part of it. And nobody's saying mm-hmm. anything. We just watch it. Mm-hmm. Do you understand me? Mm-hmm. Why she can she can she couldn't do that to all those. Um, what do you call it? People that give her a contract, but she's doing this to Lil Wayne because what about if, because if this when is it comes time, to education, if this is the time, you think so? That's what I think so because probably gonna make it looks like um 
she's here, Lee Wing's here. Mm. Yeah. So how come Lee Wing gonna give me a script? And me looking at this script, it doesn't make no sense. Mm. Probably she think she be having um she been at the toppest mm. labels to work with. It's it's just simple, mm -hmm. right? You give me a contract, you give me a script, oh, I'm not feeling this. I can't do it. Simple. Mm. So she doing on this back and forth, it's not and then with, with the Mimi thingy, mm -hmm. I think it's um uh, it's just um what do you call it? It's you know there's something going on between this camp and the way camp. That's why that's why we know one check the comments and that's why everybody's talking. Yeah, about. there's something there already. There's a there's a division there's a, in the industry. there already. From the one that Akabeniza started doing this um YouTube thing, it started from there because when people started hyping him. And then they started lowballing um, Lil Wayne. It started from there, right? So, Chin Chin and Chang, right? Mm -hmm. We know she be working with Mimi. Mimi works with them and all that. Mm -hmm. The fact that oh, they know that Lil Wayne is trying to do something big, right? Having having um, cause since I think since last two years or three years, it's like Lil Wayne has been on top trying to right. bring out the Ghana um, the Galloway movie back alive. With all medical, with all these artists of that, so mm -hmm. it's something that he's yeah, trying to cocoa, do. Cocoa the cocoa season, season. yeah, yeah. But people and are he, also people are was was also talking about Mr. President wasn't making sense when the storyline was there. Well, that's that's what I'm saying because listen, everybody with the way they come up with their own star. Mm. Okay, if we had someone like um, let's say um, Michelle, Majid Michelle, right, John Dumelo, in that same Mr. President. To me, I will watch it and be like, mm, it doesn't make no sense. Mm. But it's a movie. Regardless, some people will find it funny, some people wouldn't find it funny. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's something that we, we we Africans really like talking about because no we always, when someone is proving to do something they love, mm. to go forward, they, they, there will always be a negative mm -hmm. you know, comment, negative thought, everything. You know, but you just are... Uh, Look, people have said a lot about this guy, mm -hmm. and he's still proving mm -hmm. to do what he, he wants to do. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm proud of him. Mm -hmm. So whatever they're saying, everything that is going on, he should just stand strong, because this is this is the time that people are trying to pull him down. Mm -hmm. I'm not going because from Martin Kuma and then all the way to Mimi, and then him coming out talking because Lewin likes to talk. He's not going to sit him. down. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's him. He's not just gonna sit there and let you talk, because he's been he's been through it, okay. and he believes in himself. Okay. So to me, everything that's going, he should just like ignore it mm. and just work himself. But whatever thing is going, me, I feel like it's not nothing serious. It's nothing serious. It's nothing serious. Right. And for you to to wait for someone to go, um, to go have a contract with someone and then come back for you to like be like, oh, now you have to be under contract. Mm -hmm. Me, no. Even if mm -hmm. if I was her, I would be like, you know what, fine. I won't work with you guys no more. Great. But there's yeah. no money. There's no he maybe where she's going, she can't get money as she's getting money from this camp of chin 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 and people. I don't think I don't even to if you ask her, probably she won't say. If she goes back to Lewin's camp and be like, you know what, I want to work with Lewin, she goes because I know I have I know how much Lewin be it's like I've heard it before. People people say, people okay. that really love that guy, they say because he's paying them. Yeah. He's owning a whole movie village. Yeah. So what are you telling me? He, he's paying people. Mm -hmm. And all these old people still working with him. Mm -hmm. People that are older than him in the movie, they're still working with him. So you should know that the guy is doing something. Mm -hmm. It's just the hate. That's all I would say. Okay. It's just the hate. Yeah. All right, Pa. Um, I, I love Matan Koma from far. Mm -hmm. So she cannot be wrong, even if she's wrong. Why? She's my crush. And I've been trying to see... <laughs> she, I've been trying to see this issue. And trying to see, at least, let me dodge something. so that she, Because all she said... And I think I follow the story. And when you follow the story very careful, I think uh, Frank Gavi, mm -hmm. who is a director in, uh, in the Kuma Wood, spoke mm -hmm. to her some time ago that I want to cast you in a movie. Mm -hmm. Then she said, oh, she's not ready to be in a Kumewood movie. Okay. Then so when Louie expressed interest in having her 
in the movie frangabi was oh one time i spoke to her mm -hmm. she says she's not ready she never blah, blah, blah. then provoked the way to come to the video but i think everybody has a choice it's simple and it's final mm -hmm. it's it's up to you to prove to you, you, you whoever is producing the movie now okay she thought it's going to be a substandard movie right okay this is a result of the movie mm -hmm. it's not something you thought it was of course me movie being sense there's no what horror movie what is the sense in horror movie mm -hmm. tell me the sense in horror movie you tell us there's no there's no there's no set there's nothing mm -hmm. it just so, so movies that's what i'm trying to say it's not every movie that you have to watch to learn something sometimes you need some anxiety example of um the what is the new um the woman what are we seeing the superman woman well, Marvel, the, yeah, the one that Marvel just came or out. something. People yeah. were giving. They said it, that movie. Was if you watch Aquaman, See, what is the sense by now? Yeah. When uh, Supergirl or some one of the Marvel movies, somebody people donated from my high school to go and watch. Go and watch. Half halfway through, I think I fell asleep. See, it's, so, it's like yeah, that's what I'm trying to not, say. Movies, it's, it's not anything. It's sometimes crazy. you know whatever thing that it depends on the mood that you find yourself. Mm -hmm. right. If you want to learn something from marriage, look for something that you learn from marriage. <laughs> look some something that's sensible in marriage. Yeah. If you want to learn something, I'm, I'm, it depends on what you are looking for. Mm -hmm. And maybe matter being a person who is very particular about her brand, and knows what she's looking for, and perhaps she's not really looking for. Because I've heard other uh, 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 actors say they've turned down certain rules. Oh, and it's all yeah. it happens it's, everywhere it's normal. It, yeah. it happens everywhere yes i like this movie but i can't play this role mm -hmm. it's not a big deal oh. you understand and so for me matter can never be wrong in my eyes you understand mm -hmm. no matter what she does she cannot matter what about the people also coming from nigeria yeah um shout out to K K uh, kojong castle you mm -hmm. know for me Every everybody wants to do anything. I pray that we need to support the person, hundred percently, because this is a guy who's doing so much greatness. Because I'm, I was thinking of the budget. Mm -hmm. Me, the, the whole thing is, I'm just looking at the budget involved. Because first of all, you cannot fly Rams Noah on a just any flight. It's not even easy to get no, him. No, no. no. Well, let me start from the flight. He's been doing like Netflix movies back to back. So flight. And, and, and Mary Man, 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 Man Pray just came on that. Exactly. Yeah, and, and there's other movies he's And he produced so, Mary Man. Yeah. yeah. So imagine somebody like this who is been producing his own movies. You bring him over. <laughs> even if he's going to spend two, one week where he's going to sleep, the kind, the kind of and food we, you eat. Um, the thing is like it's not even him alone. That's what he, he got despite working with him. And hmm. Ghana, in Ghana, despite you know who despite is. Hmm. Okay. So it's not like Lingwin is the one that funded everything. It's not just, so, no, he's okay. just a face so of even that. when they went, they went to the um, Father Dixon and he told him that he's the one behind everything that he's doing. He's the one pushing him. Hmm. Oh, okay. Like, promoting his movie and everything. Okay. So you should know that it's something big that he's trying to do. So okay. they're putting is, money in it. So okay. Lil so is just the face of the brand. No, no, like no, the, like the project. Yeah, no, the, the no, face of the project. That one, that one point of correction. The production mm -hmm. is for that is Weezy Empire. Weezy okay. Empire, that's him. He mm -hmm. is the executive. Still, he's the executive producer. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. But, you know, I don't respect Farah Dixon is the head of media. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ghana. When you talk uh, about paving way for even art, Actors, actresses, and even yeah. some of the musicians, you know, yeah. those days, despite music or despite mm -hmm. production. Mm -hmm. So, Lewin, when they arrived at Kutuka, he Lewin took them there, took, took them to, you know, despite to pay respect, go, go and create, go and greet our godfather. Okay, so it's not Father Dexon who is, who no, is, I think he's, um, he's also. So he's also helping push. Her. I mean, and in support, yeah, support, in support that's that, because that, I think, but the whole funding and everything is, is for no, me. it's for me. Because Luizzi is the one that um have his like his projects. Like he tells him like this is what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. So it's like he have everything set up, but then you know you need um you need people to like what mm -hmm. help you out, back you and them. So for the next thing, he's been there for. I him. mean, I mean since that that one, one that one I can't think about. Yeah. Yeah. Since day one, yeah. Since day one, I've been for a lot of people. Since day so, one, yeah. so shout out to you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Since day one, yeah. Yeah. People have been respect. Yeah. Finish your finish yeah, finish so I, I was thinking about the whole budget that is going to this movie and you see the publicity around this movie it's crazy there's free publicity mm -hmm. i don't know how Lewis team did it but i think 
they've done well for the even the, before the movie is even shot everybody knows about the movie already i think it's, it's good for him right now yeah the way everything is going is good because now people know who the people is good who go on the screen and check mm-hmm. who is this guy yeah everyone will look forward him. to it like and, yeah. and now and now the nigerians will go back and also be like oh we see um three of our top stars maybe current and then maybe let's say our top old stars right yeah going to ghana to go do it. let's check let's see who they were who are these people you see yeah. So mm-hmm. Louis shouldn't like give up, you know? yeah. No, but he doesn't know what will come out from this. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be. He doesn't know. We all don't know, but Definitely. something, mm-hmm. something great will come out. Definitely. Yeah. So for me, I'm ready. I'm ready for this movie. I just wanted to come out and yeah. let me see what happens to this movie yeah. because I, I can sense some greatness in this movie, mm-hmm. and I'm hoping that Jeffrey will soon contact them. Let them come <laughs> and contact him so that we'll be doing the premiere in America. Yeah. When they yeah. are done um, with the movie. Yeah. I, I just wanted to add like really quick last minute. I uh, think a lot of people on social media, they're like the way they've been like belittling Little Wayne is really wrong mm-hmm. because it's like for him to take the bold step, really big ups to him because for him to take the bold step that he wants to help revive Gollywood, like there's so many big producers that like everyone was known for like like um for instance like Shirley Fu from Mom so like everyone knows her for like the perfect picture. Mm-hmm. She had the perfect picture too on Netflix. Like there's things like that like that is like oh so there's people in this industry that can make it that mm-hmm. we can also mm-hmm. be on Netflix. Yeah. But it's like you guys are to me you guys are sitting back right and you're not doing what you need to do to make us get to where we need to go. Mm-hmm. And then somebody's taking the bold step like you know what I'm gonna do it. And then y'all belittling him. How mm-hmm. you gonna how you gonna be mad at someone for taking a step? It's Ghana. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it, it it's just it's so irritating. Like it, it's a mess. Like the things we we focus on sometimes is stupid. Like it's Ghana. Like big ups the person. Like when you see someone doing something good, okay, you're doing it good. Yeah. Big ups to you. But it's like it's not saying big ups or oh congratulations. You rather get the person hate. And do you know the funny thing? Most it makes the, no sense. Most of Nigerian movies that are on Netflix is Yoruba. Mm-hmm. Yoruba language. And and like strictly even, Yoruba. Strictly and Yoruba. They, the they views they get. And the funny thing is they they have all these old artists in it. Like Exactly. Like some of their Yoruba, the Yoruba you legends Sophia, are in it. Sophia, you think you might, some, some of us might think that he's not acting no more. But then the moment you go on Netflix and you see a movie and you be like, oh, so this man still act. Listen, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like we gonna right if we do something and the thing fell off or fall off. That's it. Mm. We don't try. If you again. don't have, if you don't get almost seventy percent to back you up, and you have twenty, thirty, that's it. You just gotta quit. Mm. Okay. But Lil Wayne is not trying to quit. Right. Let that's me, what he's doing. Let, 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 let me start on you on this. This pastor also trending on social media. He was trying to do a crusade or prayer camp, however, I don't know what, what is it. But it was raining, heavily rain, and the pastor gathered his people, kneeling down, praying to God to, you know, <laughs> let it rain quick. But people are talking on social media that this pastor is not, he doesn't even understand the ethics about, you know, Christianity, the ethics about, you know, following God. And some people are also saying that no, the pastor is also following his faith. Yeah. You know what I mean? Trying to pray to God to stop the rain so that he can also continue. But hey, let me give you two minutes on this take. Uh, let me make this funny short because mm. I feel like I feel like let me, oh nipa no Charlie this will be the do what do something small. You feel me? Something small because. <laughs> Trust me, the pastors are doing a great job, right? <laughs> but also, they are doing, they are working, and also that's where they eat from. Mm-hmm. So, like seeing you come, he's about to do a crusade that's going to involve almost like let's say, let's say roughly thousand people, mm-hmm. and then it start raining. People are not going to come. Mm-hmm. It's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> so we say, God, I told so. <laughs> so he. He, he, he needs to find every way you know, to pray to God. So you think, yes, pray to God to go to make the rain stop. I will do it. Oh, even yeah. if it's me. Mm. Oh, if, oh, I will do hey, it. I will wow. pray. Because, mm-hmm. listen, let's say I'm having an event, right, in Ghana, and mm-hmm. it's outside. And then I set up all these machines and then it start raining. Even pray. though it's, a, it's not a gospel event, I'll, oh, 
Okay. Even, I mean, there was, a, there was a wedding that, uh, what do you call it, a rape, and they buy the goose to this is, Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> I would never. Yeah. And it's not like everybody showed up and it was it started raining. After, they were setting up and then it started raining. So you should know that, oh, business, business is low. Yeah. It's different from you have every, everybody out there and then it start raining and then they still get a stain and then worship. Or maybe it's different if you're taking first offering. <laughs> 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 so for that part I, I feel I feel I feel mm. sad for him and man it was crazy. We didn't see we didn't see the last part so we didn't know if the rain stopped or if the rain go but well those in the comments you know regardless people are gonna talk they're gonna say everything but me I feel like he knew like mm, the business is gonna go low. Okay. So we should find a way to you know get God to stop raining but this is where you, this is where we see the other side too. This for I watched this funeral that they were even people were there and it started raining and this um um priest came in and then he did whatever he did and then mm-hmm. the rain stopped. Yep. Oh I remember that. Yeah. See? So yeah, Christians still need to show their power. Okay. Yeah. You need to show your power. Bina. Yes. Uh, okay, I agree with your last statement. Like you can show your power. But sometimes please, 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 Ghanaian, please, I am begging. Be so for real in life because you know you're having an event. I'm gonna think, check the weather I don't the think whole it's a week. Ghanian, though. No, I'm saying, but for yeah. specifically for like in Africa, my experience, Africa. Africans, mm-hmm. right? You know you're having an event and it's gonna be outdoors. That whole week, you better be checking your weather app. The whole week. If once you see, okay, if I check Sunday and they say my event is Saturday and they say my rain, have a backup plan that oh, I might have it inside. But it'll be like, no, my God, yes, God can do wonders. But sometimes God wants us to be realistic too. Mm-hmm. You can't Maybe like. You didn't check. Sometimes you need to be realistic. You know the weather is some way, and then you still want to. I'm sorry, no. Okay. Pa, two minutes. She wasn't born in Ghana. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. if she was born in Ghana, <laughs> you know that in Ghana, <laughs> if you are checking the weather, <laughs> TTV, they have someone called someone at the I think it's a good <laughs> And even even when they bring the weather out, it still rains. I think it's a good thing. Oh, <laughs> we sit on TV and we hear it. We watch we uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. She doesn't know what's going on. I don't know. 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 Is it that now we have phones and we can check our weather? Yes, yeah, but, but right yeah. now, but right now, sixty seventy percent. Yeah, now, take your now, phone, now take because weather. now we don't rely on them to mm-hmm. tell us the weather. <laughs> now the phone itself is so much. It is so much. They made it so nice to the extent that I can be here and I can still check the weather in Ghana. Yeah. Sometimes I'm the one that yeah. tells my kids in Ghana. Yeah. When you're going to school, dress this way, dress that way, it's going to rain. Mm-hmm. And it, it rains. Right. You, are, you understand? Mm-hmm. But when we were growing up, there was this guy called Samuel Atikito. <laughs> Atikito is say GTV News. <laughs> if it doesn't rain, the weather will be hot. Uh-huh. So if you're going, it takes water. <laughs> Whatever you have to see, change yourself. Uh, and you know what? The funny thing is, even now that, now that we have all the, now that we have the weather on our yeah. hands, sometimes yeah. you check and it says what? It's not going to rain. You step outside, walking, chilling, and then boom. Then it's raining. From nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Start raining. So right now, we don't even, right now, I don't even check the weather on yes. my phone no more. Because right now... That's like, why Joba no, said 60% yeah. you can rely on, but not no, fully. Sometimes, you know, I'll check the phone, and I'll still turn on the news and watch. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just <laughs> to make sure. To make sure. Yeah. You don't trust it, no, because it does happen. But then, okay, I have... My mom will tell you this. I have, there's this one new weatherman. I have... I don't like him. Because there was this one birthday I had... And every the whole week, the other news casket was like, "Oh, it's gonna be perfect." Mm-hmm. That man came the day before my birthday. He said it's gonna snow. It snowed. I was so pissed. Like, anytime I see him, anytime he comes, <laughs> anytime he, he's the weather caster on ABC, so he's a bad Jeff, guy. Jeff Smith. Anytime he's on, something bad is gonna happen. Rain, rain, thunderstorm, something. Let me tell you, Jeff. Let me tell you, Jeff. Let me tell you, Jeff. Let me tell you, You want to meet one day? Yes, Jeff Smith can still not compare himself to someone that he took. You understand <laughs> now moving forward. Mm-hmm. I think, I think for me, when I saw the video, like I said, anytime I see things, I think business. 
<laughs> and I like it when my brother said it right. <laughs> Imagine if you set up this business, your first time you set up this business, people should come and patronize and see the thing. They are all of a sudden just raining. Mm. Oh. You understand? Think business. You understand? Because let's be sincere. If, if let's assume, he wanted to do the church for people to hear the word, uh, the word, God of, word of God, word of God right? <laughs> word of God or God of word. Whatever it is, there's word. But imagine, <laughs> imagine if that's <laughs> all. <laughs> imagine, can I please finish? Imagine if that's all that it, it is. Uh-huh. Come on, you can just let everybody be in the room. Now, technology sake. After COVID, when you speak to a lot of church, churches, they will tell you after COVID, things change. Right. Well, especially when people started staying indoor, when churches started doing online churches, and then mm-hmm. pastors started preaching, people thought, oh, so it's possible. Mm-hmm. Because first even of all... Now, now yeah, people are not even going in. Yeah, because now... Because, and mind you, that thing was there already. I remember every Sunday, you switch on TV, and you see most of the TV stations will be showing preaching yeah, and all of that. True. We weren't paying attention to it. Until COVID came and we were staying indoor, they paid attention to this. Yeah, so mind you, that business is low. So <laughs> sometimes their crusade is business because that's when they get to get everybody on the field. And so imagine you went and rent. You know how much it costs to rent even a crossbow stadium. Mm. You understand? Lighting and stage, all of that. Then all of a sudden, the rent is not small. Rent that you say, okay, thirty minutes, it will finish. And the guy, I saw the, the way he was doing. It, <coughs> <laughs> I was just watching the imagine, video and I said, God, God, do it for you. A stadium, and then the weather starts changing. Yeah. Just imagine. Imagine what's going on. There's no problem with them at the course. Pass down the cover will be shown. So for me, I don't see any problem. The cover will be shown. I understand. But the problem I have is do the pastor know there's something called pneumonia? That's true. Bronchitis. Yeah, because you could have. you yo, yo, The stadium have shelter somewhere. Mm-hmm. Just go there. You see, even the Bible, the Bible itself, some area around some country, it says that even the Gentiles, those who stand outside to pray for people to see that they can pray, sometimes it's hypocritical. Mm-hmm. You are talking to your God, your Father. Mm-hmm. You understand? This is mm-hmm. our Father. Mm-hmm. Our yeah, own they Father. They some they go, you, know, you are the man of God. We understand. Your business is about to go somewhere. Or perhaps your miracle you are about to do is going. We understand. But please, you don't need to be in camera, do all of that, be walking in the suit. So imagine all of the sudden there's real stuff. Mm. Are you going to change your suit? Or mm. you are still going to do the church in a wet suit? Come on. Let's but move on. The question, did he know, did he know he was yeah, like they were taking video of him? Of course. If they if they, ah, if they, 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 they out, the media team. Go on, you think as he's trending, he didn't know he was going to trend. He was <laughs> like, well, if this business didn't go on, I need to do no, something. Now all the churches they, they have media team. Yeah, the media team they, they have right. they have yeah. media team, then there's social media. Now recently team. I saw one one guy too on TikTok. One one guy who looks just like me. Mm. Shot a little bit like me. Mm. Like, he's, like he wears big shoes. Anytime he's coming, then you see bodyguard following him, <laughs> and he'll be praying. Mm. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, Pastor. Yeah, we've seen that one. Let's go on this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's another man trending on social media. I, I mean, uh, West moved to a sister country, in Nigeria. This is from the zoo. This is, I don't know, this is so sad. I think mm. the man has been taking care of this. A lion for nine good years and it's rather right unfortunate, rather right, right unfortunate. The lion attacked the man in the zoo and the man is dead. People are talking that that's why I don't even like dogs, that's why I don't even like cats, mm-hmm. but it isn't necessary to keep lion. I, I, I wouldn't say that it isn't necessary to keep lion in your home because this is in the zoo, he's doing his job. I don't blame the man. I don't blame anybody because he has been feeding this lion for nine good years. Who thinks that something's going to happen? What I can say that maybe if you are feeding lion or, or, or any animal who is so, you know, wild, I don't think you have to go closer to this animal. You can put a cage or something. But with that, let me come to the studio part. Let me start from you. I don't know what will happen. Yes, it is peace sign. I understand. I don't know what will happen. Mm-hmm. What, what, what do... Okay, when you have a dog, sometimes it's protection, right? Mm-hmm. We have service dog, when sometimes when you need it for medical reasons, mm-hmm. all right? When we have cats, cats sometimes, what's the use of cats in the house? To catch insects and all of that. Some people have <laughs> yeah, yeah, medical... Mice, mice and yeah. all of that. You Emotional understand? support cats. Emotional support cats. What at all can a lion and tiger do for you? 
This from the zoo. What oh, zoo? Is he a is he a or is he a private zoo? I think it's a is a is a private or public. Oh, it's a public zoo. Yeah, it's a public zoo. Then I think then um uh, somebody didn't do their job right. Yeah, correction, I don't know. I think it's a it's a private zoo. It's a I private, think I, it might be private. It's it private looks like zoo, yeah. it's private. Now. So that's what I'm asking. What at all is the use of me having a life because I'm talking as a poor man. You that's understand? what I'm saying. Freedom, freedom, yeah. Jacob Caesar. Yes, time. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Perhaps I'm talking like a poor man, mm-hmm. but I'm still thinking. I'm still trying to be in the shoes of rich people. Rich people, well, let me understand. What to do? Because if you have a dog, there's a reason why me. If I if I'm able to build a house, I'm definitely going to have a dog at least for security reasons. Mm-hmm. When somebody is coming around, you could back for me to know that something is going on. If mm-hmm. I need a cat, I need a cat because therefore there's a mice in the house mm-hmm. and all of that. But when people have go to the stream of having a snake, what is the purpose of the snake? Tell mm-hmm. me, what is the purpose of what? What is the purpose of the lion? What is the purpose of the tiger? Mm-hmm. What is the purpose? I, I, I'm trying to understand. Is there a purpose? If there is no purpose and it's for rich, rich people, they have their way of doing things. You understand? And I'm sorry for what happened to the man. It's unfortunate that he, the one taking care of rather died, and the one who bought it is alive. That's why we poor people we go through all the time. All right, thank you very much, Papa. Yes, Bina, let me go to you. Um, my condolences to the man's uh, family, but honestly, it, it's I, when you go back. I feel like when it comes to lions, whenever they do something like this in like and they're in a zoo, there's there's always like when it comes to America at least, there's always signs. Whenever they tell the story, mm-hmm. there's always signs. Before they attack the person that they start, their attitude started changing. Right. Especially if that's a dedicated person to them, you see signs in them that oh, mm-hmm. so they should have noticed the signs definitely mm-hmm. that oh, this one he's about to do something like he's changing. Even though like you've taken care of him for like all those years, at the end of the day, these animals are not domesticated animals. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be in the wild. Mm. So regardless, they're going to go back to what they know Mm -hmm. even as much as you try to tame them and everything they'll always go back to their origin and it's just unfortunate that that happened after like all his time and dedication to like the job but my condolences and yeah Mm. chris for me this one you know i know uh, americans like these animals um the way humans we suffer mental health, right? Mm-hmm. These animals do, and Americans have their ways of you know, mm-hmm. treating them. So are you trying to say that <laughs> the, the lion is <laughs> mad? <laughs> because in Africa it's hard. Mm-hmm. Their brains are hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh my yeah. <laughs> yes, you done. You did everything you have, you like you're supposed to do. You know, you know this animal. You fed him. You know so. The way the animal is acting, can't you even see that? Hey, where is it getting? It's getting closer to my death. Mm-hmm. See, because this, like me, even 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 a dog, I don't even want a dog to lick me because hey, yeah, the mind can change hey. <laughs> <laughs> within a yeah. second. And then all of a sudden, I see people like you said, snake. Mm-hmm. And then I see people with um what this black black cat, the big. Are you serious? Wild mm-hmm. cat. Mm-hmm. And then you see oh. Nah. Mm-hmm. So me to me, I feel sorry for him. He's gone, but never. This is a lesson to them though. The, the, the sad part is the caretaker died, the owner is alive. And then ah. yeah, and they then they were, 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 were sitting they were sitting behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go inside? <laughs> hey. mm-hmm. yeah, so, All right, let's stay on uh, Stone Nigeria. I mean uh you can you can see the street of Nigeria. They're having a lot of you know demonstration. Mm, talking crazy. About, uh, one one dollar is what what is thousand thousand eight hundred. Yeah. Uh, hey, I almost said cities. <laughs> Naira. Thousand eight hundred and fifty. Naira. Naira. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so when it comes to Ghana, it's even more. Mm, that's a lot. So. Was was a Nigerian president in Tinibu? Tinibu. Yes, I mean. Tinibu. No, Tinibu. Tinibu. Because. Tinibu. Tinibu. So people are talking about the, uh, our Nigerian president Tinibu uh, saying that when these leaders, when they want power, they will tell you a whole lot of stories. 
Wat het is, ik ga zo doen, dus ik ga Ik ga naar Alcara, I'm sorry. So, like, let's still stay on Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria is facing all this kind of, you know, uh, the, uh, is it demonstration on, on, on the road, talking about mm-hmm. their president in the book, promising them about a whole lot of, a whole lot of, you know, things that when they vote for him is going to change the economy. The economy is going to be soft and everything. But Nigerian people are complaining. I'm talking about Nigerian dollar, one dollar is is equal to one thousand eight hundred and fifteen naira. That is that is a lot. People are complaining when they go to market to buy stuff. It's too expensive. They can't even afford it. So even celebrities and whole lot of they are talking about what is even going on in this country and i don't know i don't know let me come to the studio chris let me come to you first what do you think about this that you are you know what's going on <clears throat> to me um <sighs> it's crazy because um it kind of remind me of um our, our president mm-hmm. when when our currency started Going all the way, we even went close to what 14, right? Yeah, was a cow or my or it is a castle, it is castle, yeah. So, it's, it's, I don't know, it's something about we Africans that we like to vote in old people who are going through their dementia time <laughs> <laughs> because it's serious now, nah, to be honest, it's serious, true. Wow. I think it's the world, but because listen, mm-hmm. we have old people, we like when they're growing up, mm-hmm. they started what. They started switching. Right. Now they're changing. They're coming down. So we need we need people from their what from their forty five to fifty mm-hmm. who are really like they when they, when they sleep and they wake up they know that hey this is what we have to do. They yeah, understand the system. Do. Yes, mm-hmm. but then you vote in someone who might can't even use iPhone. So so, so you are trying to say that <laughs> these people are too old. They are too mm-hmm. old to be ruling. To be like Africa is different from here. Because here the system, the system is there. Mm-hmm. The system is working two four seven. One glass and one. Yes. Africa, like we, we don't have that system there. So we need people who are like mind opening. Okay. So like let's say my my dad gave birth to me. I was young, mm-hmm. you know, and now I'm grown and he's getting old. There's a lot of things that I know that he wouldn't even know. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, he will try to be the boss. Mm. That's the same thing we're facing with um with our, our president because mm-hmm. we are seeing what is going on and they're not seeing it, but we're trying to tell them mm-hmm. and because they feel like they are up there, they're not they're not trying to listen to us, but they think they know what they are doing. Mm-hmm. That's what is pulling us back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Bina. Yeah. Um honestly with what's going on, there's people I feel bad for in Nigeria and there's people I don't feel bad for. Mm-hmm. Because last March, when they were doing elections, mm-hmm. literally, they, they, these, some of these people were supporting the current president's party, mm-hmm. and they would go to some of the polling stations, destroy and not allow people to vote, right? Mm-hmm. When it came, if they, they threatened people, if that they didn't vote for Tinubu, then they can't vote. People was being threatened, people was being injured and stuff right. during their election. So, a lot of these people, what happened was, According to social media, like watching it, most of the people who voted for Tinubu are the older generation because they relate to him. But the younger generation, people like Gen Z and stuff, wanted someone like P- Peter uh, Pito B or mm-hmm. Peter O B or whatever. So he, you can see the change. Even like yes, last night he tweeted about like things that like should be done, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's sad, like, I don't feel bad because people literally chose to vote for Tinubu because some of the people, some of the kids who were, like, recording, they secretly recorded their parents, like, and they asked their parents, why did you vote for him knowing he's not going to do mm. this? Some of the parents were like, ah, but he's the same tribe as us. <laughs> he He's the same religion as us. Mm. Some people were voting for the other candidate because he's solely Muslim. Mm. I feel like when it comes to politics, people in, in when it comes to politics in Africa, we need a wise up and not just look at tribe and religion it's, anymore. I feel like I feel like when we vote, we should just clear all these old people out. That too, Let the new vote. because honestly, we need younger <sighs> people. Because the younger people it's are crazy. most of these people. Not gonna, I'm sorry, but they're about to start dropping soon. Mm-hmm. So if you're like you, they don't understand policies of what we currently need in this day and age. And post COVID, a lot of them don't understand what right. we need mm-hmm. now. They don't understand. 
us working like now most of the generation is working from home or most people are entre- they don't understand that the Africans, they and they don't know how to help the economy go like they don't understand it so mm-hmm. it's just like i think you the people who you voted for him you voted for him mm-hmm. so if you are now suffering now some of them are saying some people are saying oh i regret voting for him mm-hmm. It's your fault. Nobody mm. drag your hand. You said you want to vote because he's your tribe person. So deal with it. Mm. Do it, pa. Mm. Mm. Do the home. Nigeria and Ghana. Mm. <laughs> it brings me to a uh, shout out to Idris. He, he's been training this week in Nigeria too. Yeah. He's a Nigeria legend. He's the one that did this song. Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Mm-hmm. Everything, mm-hmm. Scatter, mm-hmm. Scatter. Scatter. Poor man, they suffer, suffer. Busha, busha, gun shouting at the head. What you say? You <laughs> see, there is no country that can be better. Mm-hmm. You see, when I when when I sit down and I watch the youth, hoping that a politician can make a change, then it, it hurts me because I, clearly there is nothing like a change that is coming. Right. Because if you check out the system is being made. It, it but the politics has become a business entity mm-hmm. where people invest hoping that their party will come into power so that they can make their profit. <laughs> so it's business. So if you are not part of this business, I'm sorry. You mm-hmm. understand? Let mm-hmm. those who play the game play the game. And they are winning. <laughs> those who are losing are losing. Those who are winning are winning. Mm-hmm. Every person should be uh, uh, skillful. Mm-hmm. Find something doing. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Even if you want to use social media, use it. Make money because there's no help that's coming. Mm-hmm. No help is coming from anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, because nobody is going to help us. Mm-hmm. Especially those of us that our father don't have any friends in any high place. Mm-hmm. All we have is ourselves and God. What about the basketball uh, players qualify to go for the next stage and the president will not support? This is the same country. This is the same country. The animal can swallow money. They don't have money for basketball. <laughs> the talent that somebody could have gone and the opportunity you should have could have opened for the person that the person's life could have changed. Yeah. You block the person's chance because mm-hmm. there's no money. Meanwhile, there's corruption. I'm saying that Africa is not going to be a better country. Mm-hmm. If you have the chance to travel, travel. If you have the chance to be skillful, be skillful. Because there's not because. See, maybe the, the only chance the person has is the basketball. That could have changed his life. Mm, so he wanted to go to the game so that the chance is going to open. Then the mother's life, the father's life, the brother's life will change. Everything's going to now be you are blocking the chance just because you, the you, the politician, who are supposed to make system, the system is supposed to work so that there's going to be money for them to go. But meanwhile, there's going to be a cabinet budget and budget for cabinet and budget and for, for nurses and for, for nurses. And we see it's hurtful. Because they are you two and who, who's you let me tell you if I if I was in Ghana, I wouldn't have even thought that all these media things I could even have the chance to even do because nobody would give me the chance. To so even to say that, oh, I will be on radio to do it for free mm-hmm. is a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you, sometimes you sit down and you wonder that you cannot even be skillful the way you want to be. Because by the time you realize you are 35, your age is gone. You understand? Nobody, you see, everybody that's why in Ghana we have your footballers who are a who are 30 mm-hmm. years, calling themselves 18 years. Because before he gets the chance, he's old. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not his fault. Before he mm-hmm. gets the chance, he's old. I would have done the same thing. So everybody is... Oh, let's move on. All right, let's move on. I like that. Yes, timing, timing, police. I thank you for timing. This one, I mean, guys, this one, we're talking about the negative side, we're talking about the passion. Let's give that for Divido. 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 Before we talk about Divido, on we go for a commercial break. When we come back, I'm going to dig in. I'm going to give you the gist about what Divido is. Take this right back.
thank you very much for waiting to this time yes please subscribe to the channel joba abba tv all social media platform yes thank you very much slay by bina for sponsoring this show thank you thank you thank you very much that is the numbers below the screen contact her and she's going to help you all your makeups and everything yes kk ruby cuisine tell him you want to finish my yeah, the chew I think you know, yeah. it's spicy. I like it like that. So you know, hey, your plate is finished. Know. I do. So I mean, thank you very much. Thank you very much, KK Rikuzin. If you want to also book her, as I keep on telling you, that is the number below the screen. Contact her, and she's going to help you at any occasion, wedding parties, funerals, anything. If you even want her to come and cook for you, as you and your wife, pray. <laughs> she's going to cook for you. I mean, yes, when you finish doing your fasting and everything, she's going to cook for you. Oboba Village and Apartment, right in Pokwasi and Mount from Oboba. Go to Oboba, go sleep over there and tell mommy that yes, mommy, I want to come have a good time over here. Two bedroom apartment, beautiful place, serene, you know, the ambience, you know, uh, everything is nice. Yes, the people welcome you very, very well. It's a tax season, people are still filing their tax. And please contact with somebody who can also help you file your tax on my tax and accounting services. Also, my or my can help you file all your taxes and everything. Yes, if you want to book flight, you want to go any vacations, renew all your visas and everything, contact Coastland Travel Services. Coastland is going to help you book all your tickets and everything. I keep on telling you, if you want a hall, a luxury hall, yes, it's Afro Beach luxury hall. Yes, it's, it's a beautiful place. You can use it for your dance class, your meetings, your occasions, anything that you want to use. Just contact Afro Beach luxury hall. I keep on telling you, if you want a decoder to attach your TV, you don't need Netflix, you don't need Hulu, you don't need Amazon Prime, you don't need all this. Everything is included. 30,000 channels. I've never heard of it. It's a lot. 30,000 channels. Include all the African, you know, channels that you can also watch DSTV and everything. Just contact the numbers below the screen and you're going to also get this box for your TV. Claude Hospital. Claude Hospital. Thank you very much for your African print and thank you very much for also uh, being the news editor, bringing, you know, stories and uh, stories. Uh, the platform, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, to our last story, let me come to you, Pat Freddy. As I see you drinking your water, Pat Freddy, let me come to you. Sharp, 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 huh? Talk to me. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. Divido, 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 Divido. Guys, no. Divido donated 300 million Nara to an orphanage in Nigeria. Divido is trying to say that this is his contribution to the uh, uh, for the year. He is donating three, three hundred million naira. Hey, Sika, Divido, you did well. Pa, let me come to you. Well, before I talk about Divido, I need to give props to the chicken I just had. Mm. The taste of the chicken is just like the honey from the mountain dew. <laughs> In fact, I told you every Thursday I refuse to eat because I don't want to spoil my mouth. Mm. Just to come and have a taste of KK Ruby cuisine. And if you've not tasted her food, I'm sorry. You should see the the host taking a bite. That's if he has been fasting. <laughs> now, Davido has always been a great philanthropist. Mm -hmm. He's been doing it. For me, I'm not surprised. You understand? He, he's been somebody that has been doing great deal. I remember one time, uh, his birthday, he asked people to people he started like oh my friends if you think i've helped you before this is the time help me and people were giving money now people random people the fans everybody he raised a lot of money he mm -hmm. did the same thing helped the um, orphanage so for me i'm not surprised him doing this mm -hmm. i wish most of uh, celebrities would do same um especially if they make money if you don't have the money don't go and force yourself <laughs> and DJ David did it you are going to do it please Cut your coat according to your size. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the money, don't go. Because sometimes you see people, they will go and they will see they are doing orphanage work. You see, some of them, they will go around and go and beg their money to go and do orphanage work and take pictures with it. You understand? Be in your corner. If you don't have that kind of money, you can go by the roadside, somebody's child, bless their child, take their child, say that I will help you go to school. Pay. There are petty, petty things that. Sometimes people do that we take it for granted. Once we are seeing the video doing greatness, we should also see that people are also be doing small, small things. So 
It's all doing. It's all the the work of God. If you do, I'm not surprised. He has been doing it. Um, yeah. He should keep doing it. Mm. Um, I I'm not surprised. Just like Pastor, he was saying, like it's a great thing that he's been doing for like the past few years. Sometimes he don't even talk about it when he does it. You know, he keeps it like private, but he does it always. Um, it, it's honestly great that he's doing something like that because. That money is definitely is definitely gonna help, especially like with the recession going on in their mm-hmm. country. So it's definitely gonna go. Um, well, hopefully the people who are in charge will manage it correctly, but mm-hmm. it definitely should help in a great way to help these children who are in need. Mm-hmm. So, mm. yeah. so you think the video have to do more, or other um, other other celebrities also have to also join? I think for when it comes to Davido, if he chooses to do more, sure. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's out of his heart. Because if you come and force someone to do something, it will not come from a good place. Mm. Especially when it comes to like doing charity. If you force people to do it, it will not come from a good place. Because you're forcing them and it's not coming genuinely from their heart. That's what I believe. Okay. But with the other celebrities, definitely if they have it, they can help. They should help in what ways they can. It doesn't just have to be orphanages. If like women women's homes, like maternity wars like paying for their because we know like places like Niger, if you don't pay you can't leave so like maybe some way that somebody what some of the other celebrities can help going to pay um their hospital bill pay like the hospital bill for the entire ward or pay like maternity ward or pay for like the children's ward like so like these parents like can be alleviated of the stress of how to find the money for their child so there's different things like just like poverty like there's different things ways you can help but I don't think people should just be like, oh, David did this, so I don't have to, so I can sit back. No. If you have the funds, do it. Because when you do charity, it opens doors and blessings for you. Mm-hmm. So if you have the funds, and as although there's a recession, you doing it might open a door for you and you might get like, you, you never know what God can do by you just helping or blessing someone. So if they have it, they should do it. But they shouldn't solely rely on David to be the one doing it. Okay. Yeah, so um, the video is one of my favorite top artists that I like. So yeah, for him, doing this is is, is something nice. Mm-hmm. It's something I appreciate. I appreciate what he do because mm-hmm. he's working and he's getting the money and also putting the money to the what do you call it? The orphans, you know, to make them feel better. Okay, so we have this happy birthday present for our mommy. <laughs> I mean. Mm-hmm. Mama, stop, stop. Come, come, come in and see. Papa, come in and see. Just come sit down. <laughs> you can't yeah, be, yeah, be, be behind me. Be. <laughs> Papa, you sit down. You know, you're a blogger. You, you sit can't even lock the door. Pa, why? The key. I can't even find it. Which one is the key? Because I want to eat cake. Papa, pa, 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 come and sit down. Hey, <laughs> yeah, so let's invite our mama. Yes, KK Ruby Cuisine. That is Sir. Sir, then. Give it give up to her. Give it up to her. <laughs> So happy, 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 happy birthday to you. Thank you. Today we celebrate you. Bah, help me, yeah. like, take the stuff from, from, from the thing. <laughs> put, put this one here. Yes, now, let's enjoy. Let's yes, me enjoy. Put yeah. put this one in the middle. Put this one in the middle. This one in the middle over here. Yes, yes. Bah, help him. Bring, bring the chair over here so that we can My see the My favorite cake. color. Bah, <laughs> this yeah, is why I left the here. house earlier. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Yeah, while, while she's doing it, you can also bring... I mean, people, everybody watching, this is <laughs> KK Ruby Cuisine. Uh, I mean, sponsoring our show from the one to now, giving us the chicheho, the chicken, the spiro, pizza, name it, jollof fries, you know, I watch everything. And, and, and coming Saturday, happen to be her birthday. Bring the chef, please, uh, the table forward. Yes, bring it all the way in front of her. Let the people say thank you. Yes, it's so beautiful, so it. nice. Yes, 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 yes. Take it off. I put, put it behind you. Yes, put it behind you. Yes. So this is so beautiful, nice, 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 nice. That's it. We are celebrating. Uh, you know, KK Ruby Cuisine, and 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 thank you, thank you very much. We say thank you and for I having us for the one. I mean. The crew and I, we appreciate your support, your help, everything. You know, sometimes you are so tired, but you still got to do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And 
So then, and we know that Saturday is a birthday, but the crew and I, Chris and everybody, we are saying that. Chris, don't be your phone. You, you can be your phone. Your, happy, 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 happy. Let, guys, let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you now. 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 So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We we now hold the knife. And also KK Rikuzin, mm -hmm. and yes, yeah, the two of you. So we cut this cake in the name of the Father and the Son and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yay! Yeah! Oh, so, it is three even, brother. Make, yeah, make, blow, make, blow, three, blow, make three make wishes and wish, yeah, three wish. wishes before you blow make a wish. Mm. inside your head. Uh, yes, you can see that. You can hear that. Ah, I feel it. <laughs> Oh, sharp, sharp. I like it. 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 We are not done. We are not done. Like, like, like. On your notes, on your notes. Yes, like you are saying. We do appreciate you so much. We do appreciate you so much. You know, we don't take it for granted. We do appreciate you so much. For helping this show from day one to now. We say happy, happy, happy birthday to you. May God do everything from your heart. Whatever thing you have been praying for, we pray that today Amen. mark your birthday. Amen. The beginning of your birthday. God should open doors and blessings upon blessings for you. Once again, happy, 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 happy birthday to you from the deep inside. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy I appreciate birthday. everything that you've done. Mm. This is just a surprise to me. Mm. And may God continue to bless all of you mm. wherever it came from. Mm -hmm. May God blenish it for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. So guys, that is, if you, if you have, we have been, you know, mentioning her name on the show, KK Ruby Cuisine. Yes. I mean, she has been cooking all the delicious Food, the meal and everything, guys, you will love it. Sometimes that pass through the studio, and you guys are going to love it. today. We challenge the chicken is gone. If you can see, pa, this is not Pablo, this is Venus Bow. <laughs> pass, <laughs> pass, finishes, you know, chicken, fast connection. I'm telling you. So, I'll slave, I mean, I thank you. Uh, uh, kick a week you can, you can take the whole, the whole, I mean, the whole table, yes, the whole table, yes, yes, that's it, yes. Let's give it out to you. Yes, to the team, to the team, Far Freddy. Yes, you know, Slave by Vina, Chris, and also I, and also the Big Six Barbershop. Thank you guys for also doing it. So, Chris, your last submission about this, uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So, like I was saying, um, I'm really proud of him. You know, this is this this is what we need in this world. So, with big people, people that are getting money right from the same people that are supporting them, you know, viewing their music, giving them, if they if they get money and then they, they re, like, they give the money back to the orphans, it makes her proud because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you are working. Mm -hmm. And if not for the fans and for people that are viewing, you wouldn't be there and you wouldn't get the support. So if you're getting the support from us and you're also supporting the orphans, mm -hmm. it's good. So God bless him for that and, you know, like I said, he's he's a top artist and he's gonna get more blessings mm -hmm. from above. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so he's like gonna that. get more blessings from above. All right, let me get your your last, you know, uh, shout out to your people and everybody who's also watching. Um, shout out, shout out, shout out to um, first of all, I thank God for this. Um, shout out to Mana NYC. Shout out to Stoneboy. You no. Know, Shout out to each and everyone. Talking about the NYC on, on, on March 9th. On March 9th, yeah. On March 9th, yeah. On March 9th, we're having um, um, Friends of Ghana. 
no independence party and like i said that um it's coming on the 9th of march the venue is going to be announced soon, soon yeah soon, the soon. venue yeah so we i hope that i'll see everybody you know, listen come in numbers this is what we do if you come in numbers that means we have the chance to host another event this is what you guys need to help us so we could also help us because listen we know everybody's stressing we're working and all that but you have time to play and you have time to work so pull up come and then let's have fun mm. yeah all right let's That's have fun uh bina also yeah. mm -hmm. okay shout out to obviously the birthday queen this weekend happy birthday again um shout out to everyone who watches the deep inside thank you for supporting us from day one um thank you to the people who share and yeah shout out to everyone yeah shout out to everyone <laughs> I like that. Is it? Yeah, shout out to everyone. Stop, 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 stop. That's all you want to say? Um, you don't oh, have any more? Um, mm -hmm. Also, if you guys have Instagram, check out um, Slay by Bina and Genesis 33 LLC. Um, we are still going with our campaign for Black History Month, African Boss Babes. Check us out. We still have more content coming out. So definitely support, share, like, like send it to people, book us. Book BM um, lenses, book Slave by Bina, book Genesis 33 for all your shoots. Mm. Pa? All I would say is that check out for the big thing that is about to hit. Uh, the, about to hit the airwaves. Something big coming from DJ Solo. Mm -hmm. That's all I would say. That's check all? it out. Check it out. All right. Check it out. Yes, Pa, ready for you. Thank you very much, everybody, for also, you know, uh, watching the show to this time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please. Subscribe to the channel Joba Abba TV and to our proud sponsor SKK Ruby Kozi. Thank you very much. And once again, happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Slay by Bina. Thank you very much for also sponsoring Coastland. Uh, you know, Coastland, 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 Coastland. Thank you very much. If you want any ticket to buy Coastland, thank you very much. Uh, my tax and accounting, you want to file your taxes and everything on my tax and accounting. Thank you very much. Obama Village and Apartment. Ride in Kumasi, uh, sorry, ride in Accra. Yes, I'm out from, I'm out from, yes, yes, Pukwasi, I'm out from, Obama Village, and Apartment. Also, uh, Clo Hospital, Clo Hospital, thank you very much for also sponsoring. And also, he's also our editor, also helping out. Also, the editor in chief editing this beautiful video, you know, you guys have been watching. That is Kwaku. Yes, Kwaku the stubborn guy. Yes, he's not stubborn guy. He's a good guy. Kwaku, thank you very much for also doing the editing, standing by, you know, sleepless nights, you know, doing all this, the cutting and the paste. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And also, thank you to our social media manager, uh, Diamond. Thank you, yes, to the team and everybody who couldn't make it over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. My name is still the same. My name is Kafrinia, but you can call me G Trafet in Joba. Keep the focus. Thank you.